Hello students, we are going for the next questions. Question number 26. Yeast and penicillium, penicillin, producing fungus are included under yeast and penicillium. So penicillium notatum is a fungi. From this, penicillin was extracted. Produce fungi, producing fungi includes under the first option is Bacillomyces. So Bacillomyces is also called as club fungi. Bacillomyces, they are also called as club fungi. The second one is usually called as Zygomyces. Zygomyces. So this zygomyces are usually commonly called as pinmouths. They are called as pinmouths. The third one is called as ascomyces. Ascomyces is commonly called as sac fungi. And fourth one is called as Phygomyces. Phygomyces is commonly called as organ fungi. Organ fungi. Here the question is yeast. Botanical name is Saccharomyces. Yeast, Saccharomyces, Pensilium notatum, Pensilium, producing fungi are included under. So this both are included under the Ascomyces. So the right answer is Ascomyces or the sac fungi. In this, there is a formation of a sac like structure called as Ascus. So in the Ascus, there are eight Ascospores of being present. So eight Ascospores of being present. So in this, the right answer is Ascomyces. Now we move on. The next 27. Cenocytic mycelium occurs in. The word cenocytic is nothing but multinucleated. Multinucleated mycelium is called as cenocytic mycelium occurs in. So the first option is deuteromyces. The word deuteromyces is called as imperfect fungi. The second one is called as ascomyces. It is called as sac fungi. The third one is Pycomyces, it is usually called as algal fungi, and the fourth one called as Bacillomyces, it is called as club fungi. But here the right answer is Cenocytic mycelium occurs in Pycomyces. Third option is right. So it is called as algal fungi. Pycomyces is the right answer. Next we go for 28 question. Late blight of potato. Late Blight of potato is due to the first one called as Alternaria solani. So here the first option is Alternaria 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 solani. This Alternaria solani always causes a disease called as fruit rot of tomato. It causes a disease called as fruit rot of tomato. The second one is called as albigo candida. Candida. So this albigo candida causes white spots on mustard. White spot on mustard. So we go for the third one called as fusiform. Fusi parent fusi, fusi farm. 
मोनली फोरिस मोनली फॉर मी सो दिस फ्यूसी फेलियर मोनली फॉर मी दिस कॉसेस सीपिंग डिसीज सीपिंग ब्लाइंड on con the fourth option called as fight of the infestons fight of the infestons so this fight of the infestons causes late blight disease late blight of potato so here the question is late blight of potato is due to the right answer is fight of the infestons this is the right answer so we go for the next one 29th question the type scientists who created a group to disturb for both unicellular plants and animals is So I repeat this: the scientists who created the group protista for both unicellular plants and animals is. So here there are different options are there. The first one is echel. So unless echel, this is the right answer. So unless echel classified into a separate group of protista where unicellular and plants and animals was included so this harness echel also studied about marine invertebrates so this is the first option so we go for the second option the second option is called as pasha so this person is called as louis pasha he is usually called as the father of bacteriology louis pasha is called as father of bacteriology The third option is Lister, called as Joseph Lister. So this person widely used antiseptic in surgery. So Lister used antiseptic in surgery. So the fourth option is Coach. It is Robert Coach. So this person is famous for his Coach postulations. So he conducted experiments called as Bacillus bacteria. causes anthrax disease so bacillus bacteria causes anthrax so this was these are the four options but here the right answer is harness heckel the first option is right so we go for the next question third year in whitaker's classification non nucleated unicellular organisms prokaryotes are included under and the petrus in whitaker's classification non nucleated nucleus is totally absent unicellular organisms prokaryotes are included under so the first option is plant we know that plant has eukaryotic cells so that's what the answer so second option is monera so in this monera all are prokaryotic organisms so the answer is kingdom monera is the right one so third option protista even in this protista eukaryotic cells are there it is not the answer fourth one is animula so are animal kingdom even in this there is a eukaryotic cell so prokaryotic cells comes under kingdom monera so second option is right 31st question the presence of which is not true for eugrina which is not true for eugrina the first one is chloroplast so the chloroplasts are usually poorly developed so it is not the clo chloroplast is present but it is poorly developed the second one is called as flagellum so eugrina has chloroplast ha acts like a plant as well as flagella for locomotion so like we call eugrina is a connecting link between plant and animal so third option cellulosic cell wall so cellulosic cell wall is absent it is not there in urina so it is not true because 
in a euglena cell wall is not there but the outermost layer of the euglena is called as pellicle it is not the cell wall cell wall is totally absent next thing, fourth option prote proteinaceous pellicle this is present in euglena so the wrong one not true for euglena is cellulose cell wall third one is not there or the third one is the answer 32 common future of amoeba euglena paramecium and trypanosoma is B eukaryotic holozoic nutrition multiple fusion contractile vacuum so here a common future for all this is it is called as B eukaryotic so here common future for amoeba euglena paramecium and trypanosoma or B eukaryotic here the word holozoic is nothing but they are completely dependent on the other for the nutrition that's not the answer multiple fusion as well as contractile vacuum but here the contractile vacuum helps in hosmo regulation so it is nothing but hosmo regulation means excess of water is given out from the cell is the function of contractile vacuum so we'll go for the next question 33 lichens show symbiotic relationship between lichens show symbiotic relationship between fungus and the roots of higher plants so it's wrong fungus and algae this is right because it is an association between algae and fungi the algal association is always called as phycobiomes phyco Bions. This is called as algal association, whereas the fungal association is called as microbiomes. It is called as microbiomes. So here, algae and fungi are associated in the lichens. The third option, two algae. The fourth option, two fungi. This is not the answers. So second option is right. Thirty-fourth question. In lichens, sexual reproduction is usually performed by. In lichens, sexual reproduction usually performed by. First one, algal partner only. The second one, fungal partner only. Both algal and fungal partners, either of two partners. So here, the sexual reproduction is always produced by the fungal partner only so the answer is second one because we know that the algal partner always produces food for it by the absorption of nutrients and water so nutrient absorption will be done by the fungal partner and used to the algae for the preparation of food but here the algal partner helps in sexual reproduction so i'll go for next question which statement is wrong about lichens? Which statement is wrong about lichens? First option, some species are eaten by rainy deers. So this is wrong. This is the right one, but we want it is wrong about lichens. Lichens are indicators of pollutants. So when there is a presence of pollutions in that area, lichens never grow. So they are also called as pollution indicators. The third option, they grow rapidly between 2 centimeters per day. So here, lichens always grow very, very slowly. It is rapidly between 2 centimeters per day is wrong statement. They have symbiotic relationship between algae and fungi. Even the statement is right. So we go for 36th question. Which of the following is wrong about protista? Wrong about protista. Here, protozoans are both autotrophs and heterotrophs. This is right. Some protozoans have cell walls. Even this is right. Protista do not have membrane bounded organelles. This is wrong because the protista have membrane bounded organelles. So, second, third statement is wrong. 
fourth one is all the above. So the answer is third option. Next, thirty-seven question. Which of the following combinations of characters is true for slime mounds? So here, paras first option, parasitic plasmodium with a true wall, spores dispersed by air current. So here, parasitic is wrong option here. The next, next one. Saprophytic plasmodium without wall spore dispersed by water. Again, dispersed by water is a wrong statement here. The third option, parasitic plasmodium without wall spores dispersed by water. Again, parasitic and water is wrong here. The next, saprophytic plasmodium without wall spores dispersed by air current. So this statement is true. For the slime mounds, there are saprophytic plasmodium without walls. Without walls, spores dispersed by air current. So here, the fourth one is right. Now we move on. The next one. Thirty-eight question. Bovine spongy form encephalopathies. So this disease is usually called as mad cow. Bovine. Spongy forum, encephalo. This is is equal to equal to. So here there are different options are there. The first one is called as kala azar. So here the kala azar is black fever. It is nothing but a black fever. So here the first option. Kala Azar. So they are commonly called as black fever. So this is caused by Lyser mania. Black fever is caused by Lyser Lyser mania. So this is also called as sleeping sickness. So we go for the second option. Called as Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease. It is one of the nervous disorder. Nervous disorder or nervous disease. The third option is Crimjacob disease. So this disease is called as Crohn's. Fair, bad, Jacob's disease. So here, bovine, bovine spongy form encephalitis is similar to called as Crohn's bad Jacob's disease. This is the right answer. And fourth one is none of this, none of the above. So here the third option is right. So we go for. Thirty-ninth question: Arrangement of capsomeres is in the form of. So we know that the viruses is made up of protein coat. The protein coat has a presence of smaller subunits. So the smaller subunits of a protein coat are called as capsomeres. Arrangement of capsomeres is in the form of. First option. Helical. Second option, polyhedral. The third option, both one and two. Fourth option, no definite form. But here the answer is both one and two because the arrangement is in the helical form as well as polyhedral in the bacteriophages or the capsomeres or nothing but protein subunits. So the answer is both one and two. Third option is right. Which is incorrect? Incorrect about viroids. The first option. In 1971, Tio Dinier discovered it. So the first option is right. Tio Dinier discovered viroids. This is the right statement. So we go for the second one. Causes causes potato spindle tuber disease. Till here it is right. And tobacco mosaic disease. So tobacco mosaic disease is caused by the 
virus, not viroid. So the second statement is wrong. Causes potato spindle tuber disease till here is right, but tobacco mosaic disease is caused by virus. So it is wrong. So we go for the third option. RNA of a viroid is low molecular weight. RNA of a viroid is low molecular weight. Fourth one. Viroids are found to be free RNAs in lacked protein coat. Lacked protein coat. So, here the right option is second one. We go for the 41. Transfer of genetic information. Transfer of genetic information through transduction involves. Here, transfer of genetic information through transduction involves. First one is conjugation. So, as we know that one of the bacterial sexual reproduction is called conjugation. This conjugation was discovered by Lindeberg and Tatum. Here, the transfer of genetic material takes place through the cytoplasmic bridge called as conjugation bridge or it is called as sex pili. The second option, bacteriophage is released from donor cells. So, the second option is bacteriophages released from released from donor cells. So here, this is usually, it is nothing but the transfer of the genetic material bacteriophages from one cell to another cell. This is called transduction. So here the right answer is bacteriophages released from the donor cell. Here, the question is transfer of genetic material information from transduction. So this transduction was discovered by Lindeberg and Zinder. It is a transfer of genetic material from one cell to the other cell by bacteriophages or viruses. So this is the answer. The third one is another bacterium. So it is not the answer. Another bacterium. So this is not the answer. Fourth option is Physical contact between the donor and the recipient. Physical contact between donor and recipient. Recipient stings. So this is not the answer. The right answer is bacteria cells released from donor cells. Forty second, forty two. The bacterium which has been genetically modified to control pollution. So bacterium which is being genetically modified to control pollution is first option Pseudomonas. The second option is Rhizobium. The third option is Nitrobacter and Nitromonas. So here Pseudo Monos. Pseudomonas is the bacteria which is used for controlling pollution. Whereas the second one, Rhizobium, the third one is Nitrobacter, and the fourth one is Nitrosomonas. All these three bacteria are used in nitrogen fixation. Rhizobiums are present in the root nodules of leguminosae. So this helps in nitrogen fixation. So the right answer is first one. 43. Mycoplasmas are not sensitive to mycoplasmas are the smallest living organisms. One of the examples for this is PPLO, pleuro pneumonia like organisms. They are the smaller than the prokaryotic cells. So here, mycoplasmas are not sensitive to penicillin, septomycin. Erythromycin, Neomycin. So, all these are some of the antibiotics. Or so, here they are not sensitive to penicillin. So, the right answer is penicillin. So, you go for 44. Which among the following 
originates first which among the following originates first the first one is a prokaryotic cell the second one is called as eukaryotic cell the third one is green algae none of this so here the first originated living organism is always prokaryotic cell so 45 trifanosoma brucei produces first option sleeping sickness second option kala azar third option dysentery fourth option a disease of animals so trifanosoma brucei produces a disease in animals trifanosoma some of this produces black fever kala azar or sleeping sickness but by a laser mania it causes a disease in animals so here trifanosoma brucei produces a disease in the animals so this completes the first level we are going for the second level exercise 2 level 2 first question which disease is caused by viroids viroids leaf curling disease first one leaf curling disease this is caused by virus the second one is potato spindle tuber disease potato spindle tuber disease caused by the viroids the third option is dwarfism disease so dwarfism disease is caused by virus the fourth option all the above so second one is right so we'll go for the second question who prepared who prepared food in lichens who prepared food in lichens first option mycobiomes so mycobiomes is nothing but a fungal association with lichens fungal associations in the lichens are called as mycobiomes this absorb water and the nutrients for the algae for the preparation the second option fungi even this is not the answer third option mycobiomes so mycobiomes is always called as algal association with the lichens so this algae prepares the food and gives to fungi and it is a symbiotic association so the right answer is mycobiomes fourth option all the above so it's not the answer third option is right so we we'll go for third question which is what is responsible for mycobiomes in lichens what is the responsibility of mycobiomes in lichens first option providing shelter to phycobiomes so providing shelter to algal association even this is right so it is nothing but it is providing the shelter for the algae this is right second option absorbs mineral nutrition yes the fungi absorbs the mineral nutrition and gives to algae next absorbs water even the fungi absorbs water and gives to algal association for the preparation of food yes so the option is fourth one all the above all the three options are right so the fourth option is right so we'll go for fourth question malaria is caused by malaria is caused by so the first option is virus the second option is bacteria third option is sporozoans and fourth option is element elements so elementals are nothing but worms so this is not the answer so here the right answer is sporozoans so here malaria is nothing but a fever so this malarial fever is caused by plasmodium vivax so plasmodium vivax and spread to the spread by the female anapheles mosquito so here in the life cycle of a plasmodium there is a stage called as sporozoa stage and these sporozoas are transmitted from one person to another person to cause disease so malaria is caused by sporozoans so that is the right answer now we will go for the next one 
cellulose digesting cellulose digesting zooflagellates found in wood cockroaches wood cockroaches so here the answer is first one is logonomons the first option is logo monas this is the zoological name and the species name is called as bretherm this is the species name this is usually one of the multiflagellated it is multiflagellated protozoan multiflagellated protozoan so this is the first option right off cellulose digesting zooflagellates is levomonas the second one option is trypomonas trypomonas the species is called as vaginalis this is one of the sexually transmitted sexually transmitted the disease so it is called as std sexually transmitted disease whereas the third option third option trypo nymphia trypo nympha the species is called as this is this causes a disease called as para bos salic protozoans or protistas so the third and fourth option is called as lysermanna so this lysermanna usually causes black fever so here black fever and as i mentioned it is called as pala aza so the right option is the first one so we we'll go for sixth question which functions has direct or indirect food of all marine creatures which functions as a direct or indirect food has for all the marine creatures the first option is protozoans the second option is phytoplankton third option is fish and fourth option is aquatic insects so here the right answer is phytoplankton so we know that there is a presence of free floating free floating microscopic organisms microscopic organisms are called as plankton as a result there is a presence of free floating microscopic organisms are called as plankton which can prepare their own food prepare their own food own food hence it is called as phytoplankton so here phytoplankton forms the food for all the marine creatures so phytoplankton is the right answer next which of the following is a flagellated protozoan flagellated protozoan the first option is amoeba the second option is ant amoeba both amoeba and ant amoeba has the presence of pseudopodia called as false food as a locomotory organs the third option trypanosoma so trypanosoma has a presence of flagella for the locomotion hence it is called as flagellated protozoans the fourth option paramecium so paramecium is always called as ciliated protozoan here there is a presence of cilia for the locomotory organs 
paramecium is also called as stripper animal cube so here the right option is trifenozoma we go for eighth question which is characteristic feature of chrysophyta or chrysophytes so we know that chrysophytes are also called as golden brown or gay here the atoms and the decimates are the examples now we are going for the options first option parasitic forms parasitic forms causing disease in animals so here chrysophyta is broken out okay? so your disease in animals is not the right character next how how protein rich layer called pellicle you want to says wrong commonly called as dinoflagellates so dinoflagellates are nothing but usually two flagella are being present they are commonly called as red algae so chrysophyta is not the answer the fourth one how indistinct in distinguishable wall layers deposited in the silica so we know that in a chrysophyta diatoms so the diatoms has a presence of the cell wall the cell wall has the presence of silica deposition so once they go settle down then and settle down in the bottom so bottom of the sea or oceans of the rivers so has they settle down for thousands of years here they convert into fossils so diatoms are also called as diatomaceous earth they are also called as jewelries of the plant kingdom because of silica deposition in the cell wall so the fourth option is right so we go for ninth question why this is are first option bigger than fungi yeast so yeast is a unicellular fungi but it's not the answer it's wrong larger than bacteria wrong smaller than viroid you want to say wrong the right answer is smaller than bacteria so we know that smaller than bacteria so we know that smallest bacteria is called as cocci smaller than the cocci smaller than the smallest bacteria is virus we know that viruses cannot be seen to the naked eyes as well as it cannot be seen in the microscope viruses are always seen in the electron microscope hence viruses are called as ultra microscopic so here the right option is smaller than bacteria so we go for the 10th question fungus which is usually extensively in biochemical biochemical and genetic work belongs to the class and the fungus fungus which is used extensively in biochemical and genetic work belongs to the class first option phycomycetes so we know that phycomycetes are called as algal fungi the second one is called as ascomycetes called as sac fungi third one is basidomycetes called as club fungi and fourth one is called as dicteromycetes called as imperfect fungi but here the right answer is sac fungi ascomycetes so this ascomycetes is used extensively in a biochemical or genetic work so second option is right we go for the next one number 11 question number of criteria used in classifying organisms in five kingdom classification so we know that the five kingdom classification was given by robert h whitaker so this robert h whitaker classified all the living organisms into five kingdoms here he is asking about the number of criteria used for classifying an organisms in a five kingdom classification the first one is five second option is four third option is three and fourth option is two here the right answer is five so what are these five criteria means the first criteria is based on the cell structure the first criteria is based on the cell structure the second criteria is based on the body organization body 
organization. This is the second criteria. The third criteria is more of nutrition. Based on mode of nutrition, and the fourth option is reproduction. Fourth option of the criteria is reproduction, and the fifth criteria is phylogenetic relationship. Phylogenetic relationship. Phylogenetic relationship. So if you the phylogenetic relationship is nothing but that is the genetic material chromosome number. So we prefer classified based on five criteria like cell structure, body organization, mode of nutrition, reproduction, and phylogenetic relationship. Here the answer is first option, five. Five is the right option. So we go for twelfth question. Cell of Naturally, cell of nature is written by Darwin, Whitaker, Linnaeus, Hariston. So here the right answer is Hariston. So cell of nature. This is also called as cell of nature is also called as ladder of ladder of B ladder of B this is used in the Latin so in Latin it is used like this so it is called as so here Darwin the first option Darwin so this Darwin has written a book called as origin of species by natural selection so this is not the answer. So we know that the other one called as Whitaker. So Whitaker is the author of Communities and Ecosystem. He has written a book called as Communities and Ecosystem was written by Whitaker. And the third one, Linnaeus. So this Linnaeus has received, written a book called as Species Plantarum. Systema Naturae. Systema Naturae Species Plantarum was written by Linnaeus. So the right one is Aristotle. So Aristotle has written Historia Animale. That is also the book written by Aristotle is Historia Animale. That is one. And the other one is Cella Naturae. So this is written by Aristotle. So this is the answer. So we go for 13th question. Which type of bacteria is responsible for the production of biogas? So, biogas is nothing but gober gas. So, first option, halophils. So, halophils are nothing but this is an orchid bacteria present in saline solutions or saline water. The second one is thermoacidophils. So thermoacidophils are nothing but archaebacteria present in hot springs. The third one is methanogens. The word methanogens again is a bacteria present in marshy areas. But here methanogens are also present in the ruminants of the cattle. The ruminants are nothing but stomach. The stomach of the cattle, there is a presence of methanogens of being present. They are the methanogens always helps in the formation of methane. So that methane is required for the biogas or for gober gas. So the right answer is methanogens. The fourth option is BGA. BGA is for blue green algae. So they help in nitrogen fixation, not in biogas. So the right answer is methanogens. So we'll go for 14th question. Which disease is caused by bacteria in plants? So, which disease is caused by bacteria in plants? So, late blight of potato, late blight of potato, this disease is caused by Phytophthora infestans. So, here the first one is a fungal disease. The first one is a 
on the disease. So here, lay bright off for pattern. So this is caused by a fungus called as Phytophthora. Phytophthora infestans. This is the fungal disease. The second one is called as mosaic disease in tobacco. Mosaic disease in tobacco. Again, this is a viral disease. This is a fungus. This is a virus called TLD, tobacco mosaic disease. So, tobacco mosaic disease is also called as a viral disease which causes mosaic disease in the tobacco leaves. Tobacco leaves is called as Nicotiana tobacco. The third one is citrus canker. So, citrus canker is caused by Xanthomonas sicki. Xanthomonas sicki. This is one of the bacterial diseases. One of the bacterial diseases. And fourth disease is called as potato spindle. Spindle. Tuber disease called as PSTD. So, this is a disease caused by Viroi. So, here the right answer is which disease is caused by a bacteria is called as Citromonas citrus canker caused by Xanthomonas citri. We go for 15th question. Bacteria reproduces by Fission, asexual reproduction, sexual reproduction, others. So here the bacteria undergoes binary fission. So here when a parental cell is split into two daughter cells, hence it is called as binary fission. The second one is sexual reproduction. So sexual reproduction again, it may be by binary fission or multiple fission, all this is there. And the third one is sexual reproduction. Again, it may be in the form of cultivation, transduction, transformation, all this of person. So the right answer is fourth one of the above. So 15, fourth one is right answer. 